Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Art of the Nerd. My name is Tanda Verma, and uh, in today's video, I'm going to tell you some important things that I wish I knew before starting calligraphy. So I read an article today, and uh, I'm going to share it with you. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about some myths and things I wish I knew before starting to become a calligraphy artist. So these are just going to be simple tips that all people starting out in any type in, in any type of calligraphy should know before starting. If you have more questions, feel free to comment. So here is a brief summary of things that I am going to be talking about today. It's paper and basic strokes, pencil calligraphy, holding brush pen and guidelines. Okay, so here we go. So my first tip is paper for calligraphy. So one of the biggest things that I wish that I knew when starting out to calligraphy is the paper. So I thought that uh, you could use just regular printing paper on a, any paper and you are fine but I was wrong. So especially when starting out brush uh, calligraphy I did not know that you have to use a smooth paper. So the truth is printer paper is no way smooth enough and uh, they fray your brush pens, the tip of your brush pens and if you don't know what fraying brush pens are. so it's just the tip of your brush pen all right so the another thing is that you should know some basic strokes of any type of uh, calligraphy so uh, the basic strokes are something that i didn't know about until months of trying so first basic stroke is upstrokes where you have to apply a little amount of pressure then there are down strokes where you have to apply more pressure to your brush pen then there are overturns and underturns moving your brush slowly upwards like this then there are compound curves ascending loops and descending loops all right so um, anyway the first thing I did is just going right into practicing letters which is the complete opposite of what you are going to want to do so the first thing is you should either print out some practice sheets of the basic strokes or look them up online so that you are able to do them too all right so Another thing is pencil calligraphy. Something that I would have wished to know before starting is that you are able to do calligraphy with a pencil or any regular old sharpie. You can even try calligraphy with a pen. So this is of course would have been very helpful because at the time I didn't exactly have the budget to be able to uh, do calligraphy uh, with the brush pens. As some brush pens they are expensive and when learning that you can do pencil calligraphy and still be able to create cool uh, calligraphy designs I was astonished because I know now how to do calligraphy with any type of uh, writing utensils so of course uh, learning fox calligraphy also helped me be able to stay on budget but it would have been way cheaper at first to start practicing with a pencil then instead of uh, using uh, brush pens so okay so uh, i'm showing you how to use pencil if you know how to do basic strokes with a pen or pencil or brush pen you can write any letter you want because they are the basic so another thing you should know is how to hold a pen so a lot of people when starting out don't take into consideration that the way you hold a calligraphy pen is so very important 
so after looking at the basic strokes they don't take in mind how you are actually supposed to be holding a brush pen so i think the number one thing when holding a brush pen is to hold it at a 45 degree angle to the paper and uh, usually with a regular pencil you would be holding it at almost a 90 degree angle so but uh, if you are holding it at 90 degree angle it is going to be harder to be able to have a steady hand and create thinner up strokes and thick strokes so you should use 40 degree for perfect strokes uh, last thing is using guidelines so at first i didn't know what the x height was so if you are wondering what all of this is let me just show you so we have the x height that uh, we have the ascending space and the descending space we also have lines in between all of that to make sure that all of our letters are at the same angle so of course you can always choose what angle you want your letters to be you don't even have to have an angle at all anyway point the point is when starting of calligraphy and even for all of the pros out there you should be drawing your outline before you do anything so the conclusion is uh, you have I have all just learned everything that I wish I knew before starting out uh, learning how to do calligraphy so if you yourself in the comments want to end, add some other things to include go ahead and remember those and I think you are all set so all the best people just keep on creating beautiful cal calligraphy and I hope this video helped you a lot. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe it now. And um, okay, so good luck. <laughs>